Hello, it's Simone. It's the end of quarter one and I would like to share my current planners and journals and give you a quick update on how it's going, what I added, what I discarded. Um, you won't be seeing this until the middle of April, but it's still relevant. I'm going to start with my planner, which is all of this. I am using a Hobonichi Weeks for planning, as well as these two items. This is a notebook that I received from a friend in a Happy Mail, and I decided to make it a perpetual uh, birthday calendar. I put all the birth dates uh, that are relevant in here. And so I can refer to this and transfer the dates into my planner. I am to mark the birthdays. I'm using these stickers here. Um, this was years ago in a Coco Daisy kit. I have two of them left. And then these were from Daiso. I just added a sticky pocket that I also purchased at Daiso um, to the front here so I can keep them in there and then there's some random papers from other planners that I might want to use or refer to at some time. I haven't yet but this is here for me to grab it. Then I have this notepad that functions as a notes section in a planner. Um, I like that it is top um, the bi spi spiral is on the top, so I can put it everywhere. It is really small. I can take down any kind of notes that I want to, whatever it is that I want to remember, and then later transfer somewhere. It doesn't necessarily need to be my planner. Uh, I can take from here. And then the main thing that I use is this Hobonichi Weeks. Um... It is still basically the same as it was when I last shared it. I have some sticky notes, rulers in the front. There's more sticky notes here, some stickers. Then on this page here, I'm doing, I, I'm keeping a task tracker. When did I last do this? The monthlies are used for birthdays time off, vacations, appointments, anything that is off routine so that I can get a big picture of what is happening in the month. I did three months in the beginning and then I wanted to come back, back in February and uh, fill in the next three. That was a really bad idea because I didn't do this until almost the end of March. So now I went in and filled in all the dates until the end of June that I already know of. No, even July is in here. Um, and then I can um, go back in and fill in more. I want to fill in more as the months progress, but I didn't want to run into the, oh, I don't know what is happening next month again especially with birthdays that are the next like the first few days in a month that then usually the people i for, just forget and so i put in all the birthdays all the way to the end of the year um but appointments or things that i already know of are in here until july um on the weeklies i um i'm still using the weeklies just as I started using them back in November. I put my work schedule right here. I use, for all of my planning, I use the Uni Jetstream. This is the pen that comes with the Hobonichi. It has three different colors and I use all three of them. So that's my preferred pen. Um, I use a highlighter to mark the days that I'm working and my work schedule right here with blue pen. Um, then on the days of the week, I add appointments. If I have some or if I'm going somewhere, then I add those and I add... Um, it usually my handwriting leaves space for four to five things um, on for each day. And that is the perfect amount for me 
to actually get done. Um, I'm not too de detailed about what I need to do. This is what I should need to get done to do. Not like, okay, I want to, maybe I'll, I'll explore in my ink journal or maybe I'll driving my kids to school or I'm not driving my kids to school, but uh, driving my kids to practice in the afternoon is not on here. Uh, that's why four items on each list on each day is amazing if that works. Sometimes you see uh, blue writing right here. That is when I write down, note down something that I want to remember. This is something that happened um, and not something that um, I want to do. So just as a memory, basically. Um, yeah. So here on this right side, I have divided it into three different sections. I just um, use the guidelines here. They are a little bit visible. I don't know if you see this. Um, here you can see that it's a thicker line. So I'm just using those um, as segments. I have a weekly family to-do list. I had a weekly Kofi to-do list. I had a weekly YouTube to-do list. And then at the bottom, um, one of my goals is to send more happy mail. And so I, I was tracking who I was sending mail to every week. I'm still doing that. Sometimes there's nothing. Sometimes I don't, don't write anything here. Sometimes I write more than one. And then uh, I, I have this little teeny tiny flower here, which was one random thing during the week. Often it was a book that I was reading. Here I didn't write out anything. Uh, there, here is Louise Penny, then Travel Journal. I sometimes put in um, sticky notes. This was for weekend plans. Here it was when I watched Mythic Quest and a, started a, an adventure journal. So that's how this turned out to be. I, I wrote down things that um, we were dealing with. I put a little teeny tiny sticker here, but I, I really, I don't decorate this planner at all. It is just pen and paper. In here, I put car crash. Everyone is fine. The car was totaled. Um, my 46th birthday uh, in January, I stopped doing Kofi posts. Um, and then I changed this to art creative. I really like when this is a different color um, here it is blue. I went on vacation in February, so I used this as a uh, journal of a rundown of my days. <clears throat> and then here I also documented the time that I was away. Again, this was in blue. I didn't do the blue. Here, I'm not like really, if it happens in blue, it's nice. That's easier to recognize as a uh, blue memory. But if it's not, you know, it's not gonna, there's nothing going to happen. Uh, in February, several events led up to our decision to maybe look for a house in a different place than where we're living now. And that's what went down in February, is still going down in March and April and all the way to the end of June. Um, so my life basically changed. It didn't change in the way that I'm, I'm still here. I'm still doing the things that I'm supposed to do, but I'm packing, I'm buying a house, I'm uh, applying for a mortgage, I'm, I'm reading tons and tons of documents. And so, yes, it got turned upside down. We had a car crash. We don't have a car at the moment. So all of those things just led to me being super frazzled. Um, I forget everything. I forget to use my planner. And so I, what I'm currently doing is just trying to use it for the things that I know that it's working for. Uh, I changed the art creative to move. So here is things that I want to, to do for the move. This week when I'm filming this, I haven't put anything here. 
because I also haven't really done, as you can see from the star up here, a weekly review. I'm just living in the moment, day by day, and I'm not looking at what did I forget to do. I just, if I forgot something really, really big, somebody will remind me of. And if it's little and I don't remember and I forget, then it wasn't maybe not that important. So, um, still doing the thing. I am right, not right here. I'm in this week right here. So I'm trying to get back in here. It was really rough for a couple of weeks right here and here, even though you don't really see it. <laughs> Look at this week. Um, especially when I'm working really many, many hours in the beginning of the week and I can't sit down and think of what happened. And this happened to me multiple weeks in a row. Um, makes it really tough to get into my planner and use it. Um, so now that I'm not, now I'm trying really hard to make it a point to use it on the daily, to write down the things, because also if I'm trying to remember everything, I feel I'm getting so anxious. My mind, the only thing I keep doing is remembering the things that I'm supposed to be doing, but that's not helping when I'm actually supposed to be doing something. All right. So enough about this. I am really glad that I'm still using this. Uh, in times, previous years, in times like this, I would be abandoning this maybe, not using it at, it at all. I might try a different planner. I'm currently not at this point. I think it still works. It's just not as, I'm not as in it as I used to be before, but that's okay. I am using other forms like a Google Sheet that I share with my family about the move. So lots of those things aren't documented in here and they're not necessary to be documented in here. If I make it through this season in my life with this planner, it's a win, even if it has weeks like that in it. In the notes section, I am using those. I'm just going to show you this index that I made. I am not, I feel like this is not enough. So what I decided to do instead of using this, I decided to just use a paper from this notepad. And then as I'm using all of those pages, I might not need to refer to, for instance, this page. I already have a second one right here. So if this is full and I make a new index, I will not even use this one for it because that's the one that I'm currently working in. So this is a removable index that is adjustable to the pages that I'm currently using. I have a happy mail list. I have an organizing list that is basically not necessary anymore. I have a someday maybe list. I have a list of people I would like to support on Patreon where I'm currently not spending trying to spend a lot of money. So I have put this on hold. Um, I have a spending tracker, um, a second happy mail list. I have a 2024 planner and journals ideas. I have a house hunt, uh, move information, move list. Um, and then notes that I take when I, when we do our scheduled chats with our children. Um, and that's what I use these back pages for. I'm trying not to be very precious about those and use them for when I take, when I'm at a meeting and I take notes, stuff like that. This is, is currently very abandoned. It holds, when I do my weekly reviews, it holds my routine on what things I would like to do every week and um, check and when I have good weeks, months, this is what I do every week, and then I'm on top of my life. Um, here is my monthly review. Same thing, if I'm on top of my life, I do this. Currently, I'm not, so I'm not doing this. But I'm trying to at least remember the most important things. And then I have a December and January monthly to-do list. And then February came along, and these to-do lists have gone. Uh, the to-do list for the next months is to survive and to move. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to go back in here. In here, I tried this as a see how much space this would take up. 
I um I wanted to do an ink bottle log and so I was looking if this notebook size would be enough I decided it isn't and so I chose a different one but I just used this last page as a tester and then I have some papers that I still need and then I have this which is amazing this slips into the back pocket here like so and then it can hold your notebook shut like this and I really love it I'm not so much a pencil board user but it's in here so I try to use it as a page marker. Uh, I used to have a clear page marker. I don't even know if it's still in my other one. I lost it. It's gone. It's clear, so I don't see it. <laughs> and maybe somebody in my family threw it away. Then I thought I would show you the notebooks that are not, that I don't consider journals, which are these three. This one is a Hobonichi uh, Cousin Day Free in a A5 size. This was supposed to be a coffee planner, uh, project planner for my art. I put my making plans here. Um, it has evolved over the past months into a YouTube planner right here. So this is where I uh, plan months ahead ahead and um i am noting down videos that i do my kofi lists i have i'm not currently using those when i work on some art projects this is what i use for notes um if, whenever I am starting my fountain pen review journal, this is what I would like to document. These are the projects that I would like to tackle during the month of, uh, during the year 2023, which has been on hold. I hope to get back here when I'm done. This is how I loved doing my making plans. I write down what I want to do and I write down, then at the end of the month, I review how, how well I did um documenting how far i'm with filming and editing ink swatch videos a tag video with leanne that we filmed my february making list that went to shits and then i have ideas of monthly videos that i want to do uh my pen review series that i started and put on hold but the people that i would like to talk to um the collaboration with Lianne that Leanne that took off did I share all the people that I found um these are all the people that participated I know that there's one person definitely one person missing and I'm so happy about that if you don't know about it search hashtag eight pen questions and all of those videos will come up and then here's a YouTube editing flow so that I can see how far I am here is a currently inked what I what information I want to give with each pen and the most amazing thing about this is not that there is monthlies I know they're really come in handy for YouTube planning but I can't do it myself as well I love that it's Tomoe River paper and the, that the pages are numbered that is just the best about this uh, so if this is if the year is done and this is not finished I will just keep using it and pencil in my monthlies myself. Um, the reason why I stopped using this notebook for my YouTube planning and Kofi planning and all that is because this book does not have pa uh, numbered pages. This is a B6 notebook. It is my previous YouTube planner. I use this now for planning my videos, uh, like actual deep dive planning, taking the notes that I want to convey. Every time that I'm filming a video, um, I sit down, take all those notes, and then I put this on the side and talk about those things. Then the last notebook that I have is this. This is a, oh, haha. -ha. I wanted to mention that I am using fountain pens in this. And I'm using fountain pens in this. And it 
works really, really well for me. One is Tomoyo River paper, the other one is Stylogy paper, and it works absolutely great. This is a Sojourner travel trifolio, trifold traveler's notebook. So it has strings and the trifold um, thingy added. I got this from Mercari and I'm not using it to its full potential. I'm fine with that because this was a holy grail traveler's notebook. So what I'm currently using it for is for my happy mail. I have monthlies in here and I write down what I get in and what I send out. So this black is what comes in and red is what I send out. And March was really good because I also sold quite a bit of stuff. So that is not just um, happy mail, like actual letters to friends. And then this is what came in. So that's where I keep track of that. And then in this uh, notebook, which is a Traveler's Company insert, I just put a different cover on there because I didn't like what I did to the first one. I started using this as a pen pal notebook. Didn't really work out the way I started, so I'm just trying to, to use it up. And what I do is when I send some mail, I just write down what I send like if I, if I included stickers, if I included uh, hap ink samples, what ink samples I sent, and that's what this is. And I'm just filling in the blank spots as I go, and once this is done, I'm not sure what I'm using it for. Then I have these in here. These are Brandy Kincaid stickers that I put on sticker paper. I want to use them in Happy Mail, but I just haven't really used them yet. And then this is my address book where I put all the pen pals, happy mail friends that I sent happy mail to are in this. This was an addition to a Nolte pocket planner. And this is, where is one of those pages? This is what these pages look like. I just write the name and address and then have all the people here. And sometimes I just take the uh, return address from the envelope and put it in here. So that's this notebook. It's also not really a journal, I think I would say. I don't know. What do you think? I, I would say this is a notebook that is adjacent to my everyday life, part, participates in my hobbies. I do have tons of fountain pen notebooks that could come in here as well. I am making, filming another video about those right after this. Um, I think you will see that in May or June, but it is coming. I know that you've been asking for this, so that's what is coming soon. Then I am going moving on to my journals. Um, these are my ride or die. These I try to use almost daily. Um, this is the creative one. This is the writing one. In here I have I have packed this to the max. I didn't have one of those until just the beginning of this week um, because I am packing all of my supplies, all of my stickers, everything already uh, because part of the stuff that I have is moving in April. So that's soon. So I am only using these ephemera bits and what I receive in Happy Mail. I have stuff in the front, stickers and washi samples. This is the Travelers Company Weekly Vertical Dated Journal Planner. Uh, it's two books. I have the first one right here. Um, I'm keeping it in my newest Travelers notebook that I purchased, which was a an impulse decision and I'm very glad that I made it. I knew that I would like it, so maybe I wouldn't call it an impulse. I just knew the moment that I that it became available again. I didn't purchase it the first time around that I would really, really regret not having this in my collection. So I added it and I'm glad. I'm using it for the weekly journal right now. Every week I create a journal spread and I am enjoying it so much. I use watercolor, 
this fountain pen right here, which is the Traveler's Company Brass Fountain Pen. I didn't think I would like it so much, but I'm really enjoying it. I, when I got it in December, I inked it up with Platinum Carbon Black, and it's still working really great. I haven't rinsed it yet. I haven't cleaned it yet. Uh, once the cartridge is empty, I will for sure. And so this is what I do. I add stamps, stickers, washi, uh, watercolors, whatever I feel like I put in here. And it is just, it's so amazing for my mental health. It's doable. It's not anxiety inducing. This is exactly how I enjoy creative journaling maybe. And then here in the back, I have washi samples, some stickers that I want to use soon and all the stickers that I have currently. And then I put all of the stickers that were in various different notebooks in here. I got this from my friend Lori from Handmade by Lorelei. And so that's what I'm using this for. That's why it's so thick and chunky. I usually am not a person who enjoys chunky notebooks, but for now, this will work. I might transfer the sticker insert once I moved into this notebook just to keep a slim profile. And then the other thing that I'm almost in on a daily basis, even more than the creative journal is this notebook. This is the um, Kyoto edition traveler's notebook. Uh, I actually just saw that I have some ink stains on here which I'm absolutely fine with I really enjoy when I'm using my notebooks and they get they show that they are used not like this one which actually just has some cat hair because it's so fuzzy this one is still very pristine well actually no there's also already a scratch over here but yeah I am I am very aware that I might be in the minority here, but I really enjoy when my journals, journal covers look used. In here, I have a Taroko shop notebook. It has 68 GSM. Unfortunately, it doesn't say how many pages it, page, pages it has. I When I packed my journals, I numbered them. This is the fifth writing journal that I have. I'm almost all the way, th uh, halfway through. Well, actually I started the third signature, it has six. So I am way, just beyond the halfway point. The only thing that I add in here as decoration is a date sticker right here in January. I'm trying to use the same one every month. It's so much fun. It just brings me so much joy when it's all the same. So in January, I used these mushrooms. These are my own art. I have them as printables in my shop. In February, I used this cat washi. I ordered a sample from Paper Game Co. So I, I just had one and I used it all up in February. And in March, I'm using these meatball ones. And for April, and I'm looking for my pen case because that's where I keep them. I wanted to show you because I feel like that's super smart of me because I'm like such a winner at this. I'm using these houses because we are buying a house in April, so I thought it would be fitting. These are also my own, and I just already cut them out and put them on this clip. So I just can take every day that I journal, I can take the sticker and put it in my notebook. I really enjoy, these are so, so thick that I have two of them, but usually I just have one. Um, I really enjoy that, even though I, I love looking at other people's Hobonichis, all that, I really enjoy that I can use as many pages as I want. For instance, on the 27th, I only wrote this much. The page is still usable, I just add the next sticker. I can also use tons and tons of pages if I want to. If I have so much to say, then I'm, I'm absolutely glad. And especially when I'm writing with a broad nib fountain pen, then usually my handwriting is a bit bigger. And that's just, I enjoy that a lot. And 
it's not dated so if i'm not using the date sticker i'm just not using it and i'm just going to come in tomorrow and write again or the day after so yeah that's the journals that i'm using basically on a daily basis almost da daily and this is an adjacent notebook uh this is the hobonichi weeks again i use this as my ink log or i lovingly call it ink jotter um i put in every time i journal in my journal i know that that is not necessarily representative because i also use fountain pens in here and maybe i don't journal that day then it doesn't get documented Sometimes it does, but usually only the pens that I use to write in my journal get documented in here. And what I do is I write down the pen name, the nib, the ink name, and then how I felt when I used this pen today. And it's really interesting to see how I, I sometimes a pen grows on me throughout the month. Sometimes a pen does not. Uh, sometimes I re I notice that it's dried up, so I write this down, like maybe 10 days after the last time I wrote with it, it's dried up, the ink is darker, stuff like that I write down here. So that is why it's adjacent. Um, I use it when I use this. All right, so I think almost I'm almost done. I have two three more books that I want to show you really quickly, really briefly. This is my hotel edition traveler's notebook. Uh, I'm linking all the videos that I made about all the books that I have shared previously in the description box. And maybe I'll link them as cards as well, depending on how many videos I have. I started an adventure journal and it's really in the beginning stages. I have only two entries, this one and this one. I want to document adventures that I'm, I want to write more about than just in my weekly journal. I am using a blank Midori insert. I have some more things that I would like to document. I'm not pressuring myself to do this. I, in January, I thought I would have a lot of time because I didn't know that I was moving. And so I, all the time that I'm now uh, working on packing and organizing all the stuff could have been done in here. I am not having the, I don't, it doesn't need to be chronological. It doesn't need to be every adventure, just the things that I feel like I want to put in here. And I'm really glad I have this because I'm, I, the two entries that I made, I really enjoy. If you've been with me for a long time, you remember this journal. I started it in November or December of 2021. I made this junk journal myself um, and it was supposed to be a creative journal. I let go of that expectation sometime last year in the summer, uh, but I still kept collecting items that didn't fit into my weekly journal and I had a full box of those things. And so this past week, just I sat down, took all of those things out and stuck them in here. I have one more notebook that I don't have here. It's a smash book from years ago uh, where I put overflow stickers, postcards, all the things that don't fit anywhere go in there. And once that is done, I want to do a flip through and show that to you. I'm getting closer. Uh, and I'm also going to make a flip through of this, but this has been just a dump journal. All the things that I receive in Happy Mail or um, stuff like that uh, goes in here and I really just enjoy sticking it in. I feel like there some small spaces are still left, so I'm I'm not calling it done yet, but this will be a flip through at some point. And then I started a new one this was a notebook that i tried to use for several things did not work out but i think i'm good using this as that um just in in a an md notebook i cut out you can see this here 
all the pages that I had previously used for something else. And I'm just documenting when I get stuff. My friend Amy just recently sent me some ink samples, so I wrote down which ones once she sent me and so I'm just also not going to be chronological whatever falls into my hands that I cannot throw away just goes in here and actually when I'm done with this I'm not 100% sure I'm going to keep this but I don't have to throw the things that I can't throw away away just yet and I get to make a nice really cool journal from it and so that's what I love doing I think that's all the journals. This is a very long video. So I, if you have any questions about any of the notebooks, journals that I showed you, re please reach out in the comments down below. I love to chat. You know that if you don't, then I really love to chat with you in the comments. I really try to make it a point to reply to all of your comments as well. Um, if you want to support my channel, I am an affiliate with Atlas Stationers. Um, you can use my code that is in the description box below. I also have a Kofi. I'm currently not selling any stickers there, but you can donate if you want to support me. I'm really grateful for all the people who do. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, bye!